Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program. In this video I'm going to try and coax this XB70 Valkyrie that I made in Blender except for the control surfaces, the landing gear, and the engines. Those are from other mods or stock. And uh, trying to coax it past Mach 3 hopefully. Though I would be satisfied if we get close at least. And the previous video with this I couldn't get it past Mach, well I got right past Mach 1 but it was still transonic. So I've made some changes that I'll discuss along the way. As you can see it's bouncing quite a lot on the landing gear, ready to go. Uh, so let's get started and then we'll talk more about it. So I'm gonna use this uh, uh, atmospheric autopilot fly-by-wire thing. It's just a fly-by-wire part so that it doesn't wiggle too much. And start the engines. You'll note it's not a full fuel load, and I'll talk more about that. But here we go. I got a few suggestions uh, from the previous video, and I think I did a bad job of explaining exactly what I meant by using the stock module and what effect that has. Now you'll see it barely gets off the ground at a decent speed, really it's pretty darn fast. Uh, 100 meters per second is more than 200 miles an hour. So uh, it's barely getting up and it doesn't have a full fuel load. So what I did was I reduced the wing area in the stock wing module. So I found that I couldn't use the far wing module to describe the wings. Basically. What's happening is the stock wing module has just one number, it's the wing area. And the far wing module has more numbers. It has the cord, it has the wing area, it has the sweep, and uh, the taper. So it has those uh, four numbers to work with. So far can't calculate the aerodynamics, you know, in the SPH accurately for this because it doesn't have all four numbers right? Uh, it needs those four numbers to uh, do that calculation. That doesn't mean FAR isn't active. FAR is still modifying the atmosphere and stuff like that and still uh, trying to do what calculations it does. But it just doesn't really understand the wing quite right because it doesn't have those numbers. And that's true of the four... So it's not... Uh, it does understand the control surfaces, mind you, because those are B9 procedurals and those do have the FAR module on them. Um, so what I did to try and fix this was to actually cut the stated wing area in the stock module in half. And the reason for that is, well first of all if you noticed in the previous video on landing, I wasn't able to land because I was getting too much lift basically. It was, um, it, when I pitched down it was accelerating too much. And I didn't really have uh, brakes, air brakes, um, configured. And what I figured was it was just getting too much lift. So I cut the wing area in half in the stock module to compensate for that, which also reduces the drag because uh, the wing area contributes to drag. So by cutting in half, I basically cut the drag on the uh, aerodynamic surfaces in half as well. So the hope is that that will allow us to go past the speed of sound. We got off the runway just now, uh, though I'd say that the speed was a little bit fast and we're not at a full load. So it's just barely all right kind of thing. And we'll see whether the situation is good enough for our acceleration as we get up to 10 kilometers. So one suggestion was to use other engines. No, these are the correct engines to the best of my ability to assess the numbers so that's not gonna change they're giving the right thrust and everything so here we go through the transonic region it's always a little bit slow accelerating through it there's a lot of drag here as we pass Mach 1 what we need to do is get past 400 meters per second then we're in safer territory and that's true of planes in general um, if you fly any flight simulator uh, this is the sticky part, and then once you get past 400 meters per second, it accelerates much much faster because there's less drag. I might have to review the fuel consumption on these engines, though. I know that the, uh, we're carrying uh, the indicated kerosene load here is 
exactly the amount that the max amount that this plane can carry. That doesn't mean it always carries that much, mind you. Uh, with any sort of other load, it would carry less. So, and I don't know whether it's meant to go Mach three with a full load or whether that's just uh, its maximum speed with a light load. I don't know what the optimal acceleration height for this is. We'll see. We'll try here. Okay, we are past the transonic region. Let's see if we can go up again now. Okay, past Mach 1.5 now, still climbing. And I've prioritized the climb rather than the acceleration for the time being. Actually, I think uh, MechJeb... There are a lot of ways to see drag, but I forget if somebody mentioned MechJeb might have some info. Um, let's see, atmospheric drag. Uh, I don't really want orbit info. Another problem with trying to land it, it was that the engines do have minimum thrust unless you uh, shut them down. So without air brakes I couldn't decelerate below a certain point. Pure drag. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to give me. Well, whatever. They sound aerodynamic. Pure drag and pure lift. It's important to go faster while still either being level or going up, otherwise we'll hit more drag in the thicker atmosphere. We're not that high up right now, we're like 44,000 feet. We really should be at 50 something. I don't know if the wingtip thing does anything useful. Well, I guess we might be able to see from down there. I don't really trust the these numbers. Well, well, I'll have it up just in case. So, wingtips. Uh, it fluctuated, but I didn't see a whole lot going on there. Okay, we are now past Mach 2, and I'll start a very gentle turn to the north. Alright, forget gentle, I want to expedite this. Okay, well, I opted to turn a little bit faster and lose some speed by doing so. Well, we're back past Mach 2, but we're sort of running out of fuel. We're over here. We probably need to turn a little bit further south in order to actually get back home. At this rate, though, I'm going to have to do a dead stick landing, which I guess is appropriate, but... Well, we're past Mach 2.4. I'll just keep it going until we run out of fuel, and we'll see what happens after that. Okay, we're approaching Mach 2.5, and in desperation, I'm going to start going down. There's Mach 2.5. We're gonna get high dynamic pressure, but I really want to see if we can hit the number. We do still have to turn further north now, though. I made a mistake turning south. Not really legit if you have to go down in order to hit the Mach number, but still. That's what we've got left to us. I don't think we can accelerate in level flight with the fuel we've got left. Mach 2.8 2.9 but we're running out of fuel. And we're not gonna make it. No, that's it. 2.9 was the best we could do. Probably with a little bit more optimizing of our flight path we could manage it to Mach 3, but obviously it is not exactly how it's supposed to go. But then if I can only barely get off the runway with this fuel load, given the wing area, then I mean, I guess the only thing to do would be to, like, figure out how to reduce the amount of drag on the wings. A admittedly, they're very thin wings. They're not, like, shuttle wings or anything like that, so that's an option. 
just say, hey, the wings should have less drag by fiat. But, well, let's see, I told the uh, elevons to be like brakes, let's see. No, they don't seem to be doing that. What if I toggle them? Nope. I thought I told you to be... See, now... It's not fair if you don't listen to me. I could have sworn I had changed that, but... Okay. I had set them to more than 15 degrees, but I'm not going to bottle with that right now. Good times. They're not really slowing us down very much, but since we're going down, it's okay. Uh, we appear to have stalled, or at least I can't pull up anymore. Um, I mean, we're going down, and we're right at prograde. Now it's just nominal, minor stalling. Uh-oh. Mm, this is a problem. Somehow my finagling has... Let us to be nose heavy or something? No. But I can't pull up. I'm trying as much as I can. Oh, it's sort of going up now. Very, 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 very slowly. Is it going to be in time? I need to increase the authority of the controls on the canards. Technically the outer wing surfaces that tilt also have control surfaces, but you can't do that uh, with an animation. Uh, we're not pulling up any more than that. Oh, and it's going down again. Well, <laughs> we're, we're going to end up landing here, apparently. Oh, no, this is not a landing. <laughs> oh. Well, that wasn't a very good end to a test flight. Anyway, so the work continues. I'll probably not post this version of the plane at this point given the result uh, but we'll try and fix it up a little bit better and see where it'll hit its optimum <laughs> so yep uh, lots more tweaking to be done uh, but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time